Are you doing all of the right things but you're still gaining weight? Well, it turns out you may need to eliminate some foods that you think are healthy but really are making you fat. Joining me this morning is nutritionist Lynn Genevra Recitas. Thank you so much for being here. I am just fascinated by all this. So, so your book is called The Metabolism Plan and it's really not so much about calories, it's really about foods that your body just doesn't like. Right. You know, I always say it's not the nachos and margaritas that are the problem because you're not having that meal and saying, hey, I expect to lose weight. Right. It's a fun meal and you should have fun. What is tricky is when you're eating foods that you think are healthy, but they may not be working for your chemistry. Okay. And what we need to remember is that we're all chemically unique. So right. for instance, if I have one teaspoon of hummus, I'm going to gain a pound, I'm going to get a migraine, and I'm going to feel awful. But hummus might be great for you. Okay, so how do I find out what it is that, that my body does not like? <laughs> well, I laid out a very standardized template. So days okay. 1 through 20, you start to test the foods that you love. Okay. And what we do is we do it in order from the least inflammatory to the most inflammatory. So you eat basically the least inflammatory foods for a little bit, and then you start introducing some of the foods to see how your body reacts to them then. Exactly. Okay. So, so for instance, beef tends to be very low reactive good news for Texas okay good but turkey is very highly inflammatory so if you're having that turkey burger instead of the beef burger and packing on the pounds we oh. just eliminate the turkey burger so the beef burger might actually be better for you so we're looking at some of the things here um, that, that are uh, that, that can be inflammatory right? right so so you're saying that basically you should which I thought this was crazy um, for example like you should skip the cauliflower but eat french fries you're really gonna tell me to eat french fries I am you you know what, when people give up the potatoes for the cauliflower, it kind of breaks my heart. Uh, potatoes are very low inflammatory. It's an excellent source of potassium. And here's what's cool. When you fry them, you actually increase the antioxidant capacity. So French fries are healthier for you than a baked potato. Whoa, okay, I like that one. Uh, what about the yogurts here I see? So you're saying e, uh, get rid of Greek yogurt, well, but have like goat's milk cheese? Right, so we want to get calcium in, and that's very important. And we want okay. to get good sources of protein in, but Greek yogurt tends to be 85% reactive, hmm. which means that for 85% of the population, it's causing inflammation. Where foods yeah. like sheep's cheese and, uh, and goat cheese are very low inflammatory. I, don't, I think yeah, that, that's crazy because I think Greek yogurt, that's the healthy pick. Uh, let, let's say a lot of people will eat oatmeal, for example, but you're saying forget the oatmeal. It might be better to eat bread. Really? Right. <laughs> and you know, sourdough bread is fermented, so that makes it easier to digest. Okay. And for some people, it's actually the yeast that's the problem. So pita would be another great choice to, to hmm. try. But oatmeal is 85% inflammatory. Okay. So if you're eating that, to lower your cholesterol, it might actually be raising your cholesterol. Wow, okay, so shrimp, shrimp. get rid of the shrimp. The scallops are better Yes. So for most you, people. <laughs> if you want to have seafood, definitely, you know, seafood has great nutrition, but shrimp is 85% reactive and scallops are only 20% reactive. Are you going to tell me to get rid of the red wine and the margaritas? Well, here's the, here's the great deal. Red wine is incredibly low inflammatory, and so really? are margaritas. Huh. As a matter of fact, tequila is one of the alcohols that has the least impact on your glycemic index, so it's actually recommended for people with type 2 diabetes. But that vodka soda, kick that to that curb, because okay. all that carbonation is going to interfere with digestion, and you're going to gain weight. This is a diet plan I think I might be able to do. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. You can find a uh, link to uh, Lynn Janae's website on our website, fox4news.com. Again, it's called the, uh, the Metabolism Plan. Thank you. Thank you.